These are the seven ways that creatine can boost cognitive performance. The very first way is that it can improve short-term memory. There was a study done where they took 281 individuals and had them take different memory tasks of short-term, long-term memory to see if they could actually handle the task. And then they incorporated them taking creatine. And what they found is that it definitely improved a lot on the short-term memory side of things, especially when they had to do a lot of different tasks and had to recall back the different types of tasks that they needed. What was also interesting is that they found that the people that were vegetarian did perform greater than those that did eat meat. And most likely is because vegetarians are not getting enough of probably creatine, a lot of the different important amino acids in their diet. And so that's why they saw the greatest benefit with vegetarians improving their memory, especially their short-term memory, when they had to do high amounts of tasks and making that short-term memory recall. The second way that creatine could definitely improve cognitive performance is that whenever creatine was administered to healthy individuals, they found that intelligence and reasoning definitely enhanced over time when they administered it. Now, the third way is looking at specifically the importance of creatine, of the important different amino acids that it is providing. And there's certain different modulations that are going on when you're taking creatine too, that's helping with a lot of different neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, GABA, for example. And some of these do require very important different amino acids that creatine can provide and does help with building and modulating a lot of those different things. And so the third way that creatine can help and has been shown is it can help and benefit increasing attention span, which then lead into better cognitive focus and performance through with high cognitive tasks. The fourth way that cognitive can be really important for our cognitive performance is it has been shown that it can help faster information processing speed. When we receive a lot of data, so we're able to process it at faster pace, which helps us to be more responsive and be able to get a lot of the tasks that we need to do on hand. That definitely helps with the cognitive performance. Now, creatine definitely definitely has its benefits. It's definitely doing things that help with cognitive performance and can help with focus and energy in some capacity because a lot of people think about using it just for exercise, but there's also a lot of different other supplementation that can help with focus and energy. And so if you're looking for more different supplementation and guide and direction to be able to implement, then you should download my all day focus and energy guide in the description below. The fifth way that creatine can help with boosting cognitive performance is it can reduce mental fatigue. Now, this is something that I see a lot with my patients' clients when they reach that mental fatigue burnout. And a lot of this has to do with sleep deprivation, that people can reach that mental fatigue burnout. And they found that through taking creatine, it can help with that sleep deprivation. It also can help with that mental fatigue because what it does also, like I was saying before, it does help with the building and modulation of different neurotransmitters that help with energy, focus, motivation, and drive. And so you don't reach that complete mental burnout state. Now, the sixth way is that creatine can improve energy metabolism. Now, why is this important? Because we need our energy to be metabolized. So looking at ATP, creatine has been shown to help enhance the ATP process that gives us energy in our cells. Essentially, if we decrease our output of ATP, we're going to start seeing it creep up in our energy output and our cognitive performance as well. So creatine does enhance that because of the specific amino acids that it's specifically helping improving and enhancing and also helping with a lot of the different modulation process with ATP. And the seventh way that creatine definitely can help, I would say maybe not necessarily boost cognitive performance, but prevent from a decline. And this has been really fascinating to see some of these studies come out where creatine has been shown to prevent more things like neurological disorders, things like Alzheimer's disease and just cognitive dementia, decline, things like that. They've been seeing that it's really fascinating because what is also fascinating is that people look at creatine of just using it for exercise. And sure, about 95% of it is utilized for a lot of our muscle tissue, but 5% is used and utilized in our brain. And they have found that this has been a really effective kind of preventative measure to prevent things like Alzheimer's and dementia because it's providing a lot of those things I was mentioned before, modulation of ATP, also providing a lot of different proper nutrients that the brain does need. So these are things that are to definitely consider. So it's really beneficial from preventing, especially from a neurological disorder. If you definitely have family history of that and you're concerned of that, definitely start considering looking into creatine as a benefit of something you could use for your brain health. Now, creatine is just one different type of supplement that can help with cognitive performance. Now, if you're looking for other different supplementation that can help with cognitive performance, watch this video next where I dive in deep talking about the five different types of supplements and the different supplements that can help with cognitive performance, with motivation and drive. So watch this video next.